Hi everyone, it's Martin again. Uh, tonight I'm tying a bonefish fly for you. It's a slutter worm. Uh, I'm tying that this is a fairly big chunky fly. Um, you could actually tie it, I mean, you could tie it even bigger and use it for redfish, I suppose. Um, I mean, it's, it's, it's a, fairly, a fairly decent bite for a bonefish. Um, I'm tying it in a size 2. Uh, I've never actually tied it any smaller. Um, and I'm using an S11S, a Gamakatsu S11S 3H, size 2. Um, the thread I'm using is Danvo's Flymaster 140 and Chartreuse. I'm just going to run a bed of thread along the shank. And then I've, I'll come back to about an eye width behind the hook eye. Uh, I'm going to tie in my weight next, which is just a pair of small dumbbells or barbell eyes. Um, you could use bead chain if you like as well. So I'm just figurating the eyes on. And I'm taking wraps over the eyes and under the shank. And then just to tighten I've written down some wraps under the eyes and over the shank to really tighten up those wraps and make sure it's got a good grip. I just don't really want to move on me anyway. Um, and then just for a wee bit of extra security, just come in with some super glue, just get it into the thread wraps there. For the tail, I've got some um, natural grey fox tail. See there, and I've taken the hair from the the sort of the underside to so a wee bit paler. It's a sort of grey tan, and I've taken I've pulled out most of the guard hairs. I've left a few um, of the shorter guard hairs just to help keep that nice taper in, in the. And the fibre. So I'm just going to square off my ends and then I'll take a loose wrap right back above the bend and so I just, just wiggle the fibre between your thumb and index finger just sort of roll it back and forward. It'll sort of encourage it around the shank. Just check that you're relatively even you don't want it like bare on one side and then just tighten down uh, it doesn't do any harm to get a wee splash of head cement in here at this stage just to just to help uh, Help with your grip. And while, that, while that's soaking in, I'm going to take a single strand of lime green crystal flash. Um, this is actually a H2O twist from the Fly Tires Dungeon. Um, but it's just the same stuff, it's just crystal flash. It's actually an excellent, excellent value. You've got this this packet. I can't remember I don't remember the exact price, I think it was like one ninety nine or something, but it was um I could be wrong on that. But and you can see the size of it there, it's the hanks probably twice as thick and twice as long as what you would get from like Whoopsie or uh, hairline or any of the other companies. So I've just folded, just doubled it over, and uh, cut it in half. And I'm just going to 
Lay the fibres. It is trying sort of to the side and underneath, which will be the top of the fly as it fishes. And then I'll just do the same with the on the other side. Just pull them back, and then I'll come in and just sort of trim them on an uneven lengths, slightly. Slightly going past the end of the fox there. Uh, there's a small collar in this fly, um, and it's using rabbit fur. So I'm going to make. I've got some chartreuse rabbit, uh, zonka. It's actually the with the the tips are barred black and I'm going to make a dubbing loop of about an inch and a half an inch and three quarters just for the collar and I like to I like to stick a wee bit of wax on my on my loop um, I've heard some some folk don't like it because it's they reckon like when you go to the tropics the wax the wax melts and then so they think the dubbing doesn't they grip but it's the, the the wax just holds it while you make the loop the the grip comes from the twisting so I want the the I'm just trying to, I want as long as I can get I want the rabbit as long as I can get so. I've, just push, push the butt ends as close to the thread as I think I can get away with. And then I'm going to just twist it. And I just use my fingers, it's just as quick as using a tool. Um, and there it's, it's twisted up. And you can just come and give it a wee brush just to make sure everything's fine. And if you just sort of, if you give it a pull, you can see nothing. Nothing wants to come out because that's that's the twist. That's the tightness of the twist, not the wax. And just pummel this, or wind it. Sorry, um, wind it forward. Touch and turns, um, which incidentally is not a palmer. Uh, I know a lot of folk talk about palmer and stuff forward, but it's actually a palmer is an open, an openly spiraled hackle. That's what it is. It probably comes from the traditional Irish and Scottish wet fly tying. Um, a palmered wet fly as opposed to an unpalmered winged wet fly or something like that. So, there's the collar. Now, it doesn't look great at the moment. It's, you know, it's sort of clumped up a wee bit. But that's dead easy to fix. With the trusty Velcro. I just come in and go over it with the velcro and that's how it lifts it out nice watch your tie thread that's hanging there you could bust it with the velcro if you're not careful so there's tail and collar done the last thing is just uh, the body um, and it's a dubbed body, uh, and it's a mix of, I've just made a roughly 50-50 mix of um, grey and tan EP shrimp dub. Um, see, that it's kind of matches the colour of the fox fur. Um, the, the, the exact proportions might differ depending on the tail that you buy. So. I'm going to dub this pretty heavily, and to get to help get this a uh, a nice taper down towards the, the the eyes, I'm going to start in the middle of the of the dubbed section, and then dub it back to sort of build it up a wee bit. And then I'm going to take a wrap. 
back over the top of the collar a wee bit. Just tighten up the dubbing as you go. Build it up. A nice, fairly thick body. And then just coming in, throw a couple of whip finishes in front of the eyes. Tighten that up. Trim the excess. And then, getting about to be a Velcro again. You know, don't be, don't be, don't, don't be shy. Get right in. Encourage the fibres out and back. And you can make, if you, you know, if you want it to sink a bit slower, you can make the body heavier, make the tail a bit thicker. Um, you know, you, if you're if you're fishing very shallow water, just some medium bead chain and a good bit of dubbing will give you a nice soft landing. And there you have it, that's the Slutterworm Bonefish Fly. I uh, hope you liked that. If you did or if you didn't, leave a comment below, let me know what you think. Let me know what you want, what kind of flies you want me to tie. Um, and don't forget to like and subscribe for more videos. Thank you very much for watching this.